dear students uh, i welcome to you uh, to my lecture number 22 which is design of seed equipment part 2 in fact uh, you must have uh, seen that we discussed over the last 5 um, 6 uh, lectures in which we talked about the different uh, seeding equipment where maybe a seed drill or a planter or a pneumatic planter and uh, things like that including even uh, vegetable planters now here we would like to learn uh, about the different uh, designs which are involved in, for these equipment well we will uh, go into the components one by one you have seen the in the previous uh, class we have talked about the hopper and uh, after the hopper then where uh, we keep the either the fertilizer or the uh, seed we need to meter that to the soil level or into the furrow now what is the idea behind doing that what is the mechanism involved in that uh, what are the components uh, made of what is the mechanics behind that everything needs to be learned as an engineer because then this will help you in uh, working out a new design some supposing you are thinking of uh, modifying the design or you are thinking of a completely new Uh, seeding equipment then you will think of uh, this as the base and then you will go ahead with uh, um, incorporating the new designs uh, which you think uh, to be tested or to be incorporated for betterment of the uh, seeding equipment or for better efficiency of that equipment so in this regard let us follow the slides which i have put together here uh, in fact uh, there will be a lot of mathematics involved and that's why the slides are put across and uh, we will go very slow in this so that you can understand and definitely um, uh, during the process when we will have the uh, the assignments etc at that time you can learn about uh, any difficulties you have faced or any uh, clarifications that you require could be taken care of at that time so let's go to the second slide design of seeding seed metering uh, unit well first is the seed metering unit because we know that uh, the mm, hopper is uh, the one where we have the mm, whole material the seed or the fertilizer we are talking of seed here let us concentrate only on seed so in the seed uh, hopper we need to have the metering mechanism now mm, how to design that see what happens is we would have uh, decided that what is the seed rate to be given in a certain uh, field as per a, for the design or as per the requirement of the crop and what is the uh, spacing that we would like to maintain what is the speed at which we would like to operate our equipment or the um, tractor drawn equipment or the seeding equipment which we have so when we are talking of these definitely we must have an idea about what is the volume what is the volume of seed which is uh, being fed through that small unit and that unit is known as seed metering unit that means we will meter the seed right from the hopper to the uh, last point which is the soil in the furrow so we are talking of the one which is very um, popular the one which is very popular is the um, uh, fluted roller type now there are other types we will talk of them at a later stage but then we will discuss more about fluted roll type which is very widely used in fact uh, this is the one uh, where now lot of modifications have been done and people have changed their uh, the material also so that the damage to the seed uh, is minimum so that germination will be higher etc so we have taken the metering unit as a uh, fluted roller type so the fluted roller type uh, this is the fluted roller type is the one which we have decided the, these are the flutes which you can see here these are the flutes which are there inside which the whole um, seed uh, uh, falls now we have uh, decided that this total volume which will be there inside is not uh, not uh, exactly that we can calculate so there are ways by which we can calculate and how do we calculate see here we are talking of v1 the total volume 
volume of seed fed by one fluid as accepted in theory as expressed by v 1 is a 1 plus a 2 into l, l is this length the length of from here to there this is the total length of the fluid. So, a 1 is area of cross sections shown in the diagram uh, l is the length now what are those a 1 a 2. Now, you see if you come to this uh, particular slide here then we see that this is the area a, a 1 which is shown over here this is the area and this is the small area which is a 2. Now, this area because what happens the whole thing is there inside uh, the hopper and when it is in the hopper these fluids. So, they will be filled up and how much is the material which is carried inside this is the one uh, uh, which is of question and which is important to us. So, we say that well certain portion will be there uh, in the fluid and certain portion will be slightly more than that or uh, slightly uh, maybe lesser than that we do not know what it would be. So, we would like to find out this a 1 plus a 2 we tell that we will be editing it uh, we will put that this is an addition from the actual groove and then extra whatever comes. So, for that we will have v 1 is equal to a 1 plus a 2 and once l length is multiplied. So, you know that this is uh, the area uh, the volume of the cylinder which will come into area and to length will give you the volume of the cylinder. So, now if you, so here if you see the uh, the whole thing in this then we find here that there are two uh, diameters or the two cylinder diameters one is the outer one which is here you can see this the outer one from this point to this point over here which is called d then the other one which is dotted one from here and uh, to this which is small d. So, these are important to us because we will be requiring this to find out as to how much is the material which has gone and we will be interested in finding out from each flute what is the amount of material and once we know the number of flutes once we know the speed at which this flute is moving with respect to the ground wheel we will be in a position to find out how much is the total volume. So, this is how we will proceed let us go to the second slide. The volume of the seed by one turn of the fluted roll right now fluted roll you have seen that the fluted roll had several flutes. So, when the fluted roll is turning once what is the total volume taken that is now you see here <coughs> volume of seed feed uh, fed by one turn of the one turn of the fluted roll. So, V 0 here this depends on then what d g diameter of the ground wheel yes it will depend on the diameter of the ground wheel. Then w is the inter row this is the inter row width inter row width between the, uh, uh, the rows of the um, plant. Then r s this r s this r s is seed rate seed rate which has been def defined or designed for that particular crop because it will vary from crop to crop and uh, um, uh, from uh, condition to condition and requirement to requirement. Then uh, d g we have talked of diameter this here ground g r this is the speed ratio g r is speed ratio now speed ratio between what speed ratio because we are interested that when we are taking power from the ground wheel how much is the ground wheel rotating and how much is the rotation of the metering shaft. So, g r is therefore, number of teeth on metering shaft by number of teeth in the ground wheel it is just number of teeth or you say the speed. So, uh, the ratio of that is the one which is g r. So, once we take this into consideration by taking into the uh, taking into consideration the units as well this 10 to the power 10 to the power minus 6 also comes into picture where volume is given in meter cube. So, the total volume of the seed fed by one turn of the fluted roll. So, it will depend how many turns are there and how many number of flutes are there in that. So, we need to understand this part of it while we are trying to find out what is the total volume of seed 
which has been fed by one turn of the fluted rod. So, it uh, takes care of the ground wheel uh, diameter, the seed rate at which uh, it is um, uh, designed and then the interrow width um, between the um, crop and density of the seed. Of course, density of the seed because we are talking with respect to the total volume and here the seed rate is in kg per hectare, um, kg per hectare. So, definitely we have to talk of the bulk density which is row here. So, then taking this if you um, calculate you will find that this volume is given by this particular uh, this particular formula right. So, the volume of seed fed by one turn of the fluted roll V0 is given like this. Now, let us go ahead. Well, we we have seen these uh, two figures, uh, this figure and and this figure. Now, the actual volume of seeds delivered by one turn of the fluted roll, the active layer taken into account. Of course, now what is this? We had talked of that V zero is something else here. Now, what happens is that the coefficient of filling fluids with seeds say xi. Now, what happens generally we are thinking that this will have enough filling and there would not be any place in the fluids left for, um, for the seeds. This will be completely filled this is what we feel, but this generally does not happen. So, we find that this coefficient of filling fluids with seeds is varying from 0 0.7 to 0 0.85 for perpendicular feeding of seeds and 0.9 for fine grained seeds. Yes, it is like this. Therefore, what comes to us is the total area which we had got earlier A 1 plus A 2. The area which we had got I have shown you there this A 1 and A 2 which was there in the figure and here also we can show this is the A 1 and this is A 2 here A 2 this one. So, A 1 plus A 2 area. Now, Z is the number of fluids how many fluids yes definitely because the number of fluids are important we are talking of the total fluid one rotation of that and how much we have got what is the total volume. We assume that everything will be filled up, but that does not happen and that is why we have um, incorporated a factor xi. L is the actual length of the um, fluids that is uh, known to us earlier. D is the diameter of the roll well the D is the diameter of the roll which has been uh, told earlier. Dist now, here there are two important things we need to look into this s distance of seeds from the perimeter of the feed roll moving with the same speed as seeds shifting on the roller perimeter. Now, you can see here that s dash this s dash this is this, is, this s dash if you see this s dash here is important here because this is the s dash is the distance of seeds from the perimeter of the feed roll from the perimeter of the feed roll what is how much is that amount uh, because we do have the with the same speed as shifting on the roller perimeter. Now, S is equal to S dash the M where M is what M is for different seeds. So, what exactly we get is because we are getting the, um, through this S dash we are getting this total S. Now, this S talks of how what will be the total amount of material which will be inside this uh, this area. Uh, you can see that from here to this uh, under this area under this area and therefore, now we have this S spacing spacing provide to ensure that seeds occupying in the fluids. What is the total amount what is the com complete amount of seeds provided there will be m times this S dash and m is well for m this is of course, from literature we have found the people have done research and on that basis we got that m for wheat oats and barley is 3.6 and for millet 2.4. So, if you can take this then the amount s s here the which will be above the uh, into the uh, fluted roll you will get that value of s which is m times s dash and s dash is distance of the perimeter uh, is distance from the perimeter of the feed roll. 
So, if we have this now go back to the um, equation here V R Z V R Z here is talking of xi times A times Z where Z is the uh, number of fluids A is the area to a total area and xi is the one which we consider that it may not be completely filled up a certain portion is filled up plus pi d s dash because pi d is the total diameter which comes out over here and then um, s dash is the one which is above it. So, pi d s dash is the total uh, total distance actually this will be total here and then if we multiply the whole distance into L we are going to get the total volume because this will talk of the area this d and s dash is uh, is area this is also area. So, this total will be area into this length will give you the value of volume of seeds delivered by one turn of the fruit at all active layer taken into account this is the this is the value. So, if we understand this part of it now we we go ahead because we are interested to find out how much is the area or how much is the volume of the seed which is above than the fruit at all because we would like to know the total amount which is falling uh, which is essential that we may think that we are uh, seeding 120 kg per hectare and then we find that because of the faulty design of the fluted roll we do not get that. So, we have to be very careful about this part. Well, we need to know this what are what are those actually we would be interested to find out what is this a 1 and a 2 which I had shown you in the earlier what you had shown you a 1 and a 2 in the earlier figure. Now, these are these are the values a 1 and a 2 how do we find this how do we calculate this for out of the uh, diagram which we have given. Now, you see that we have in order to find out this uh, a 2 what we have we have O P and Q this is the O P Q which is a spherical section. So, this is sphere section O P Q is the total um, section area which we are getting. Now, this area is nothing but is equal to this uh, from the formula direct formula of uh, spheres here. Now, which comes out to be d square into L 1 uh, alpha 1 by 8 where alpha 1 is this this alpha 1 if you go if you see the earlier um, figure this alpha 1 was the area um, was the angle which is covering the whole portion of the uh, of one of the uh, fluids one of the fluids. So, then d square into L 1 by 8 this is the value which talks of O p q. Now, in order to get this we must uh, subtract this from O angle um, triangle O p so, we must subtract the area of this from here. Now, what is the area of O uh, triangle O P Q the triangle of, um, the triangular area O P Q is nothing P Q into over by 2 which is nothing but half base into altitude. So, we are talking O R is this then P Q is this half base into altitude this will give you this area. Now, using the uh, geometry then we are finding out what are the values of um, O R P Q etcetera and taking into consideration this alpha 1. So, totally then area A 2 can be found out from um, subtracting this uh, subtracting from out of this we have subtracted this now these are given here. So, area of um, sphere section minus the area of triangular section will give us A 2 and this A 2 taking into consideration this angle alpha 1 we are getting A 2 is given by this here. Now, we need to find out uh, a 1 also because these two are the ones which are important to us. So, how do we go to find out a 1? We will follow a similar methodology as we have done in, in this case that we will have o dash uh, p uh, q here and then o, o dash p and q triangle here. So, same the thing we will do and try to get the values of a 1. right. So, in a similar manner as I said we are getting the value of a 1 which is which is this 
Now, if you work out, you will be in a position to get this. You could phi 2 is the imaginary angle as it is uh, as we have taken with respect to uh, alpha 1, this is phi 2 angle. So, this phi 2 is now we will uh, get eliminated uh, with the tri trigonometry and then ultimately what we are getting with respect to a 1 and a 2 is a 1 plus a 2 here which is the total area a. Now, a 1 we have got already d square into alpha 1 minus sin alpha 1 divided by 8 plus this is r square. In fact, if you take this um, into diameter, you will get the figure 8 over here also, but we are taking this as the radius. So, we are getting here uh, phi 2 minus sin alpha um, phi 2 here. And now, alpha 1 which we have got here with respect to b and d, we will get these values. This is b here and uh, this is the value which is uh, d, this total half d. The, so, b is known to us, d is the diameter which has been already said and this is half of this over here. So, alpha 1 is this, then phi 2 is this. So, b is equal to d sin pi by z minus 2 s b. Now, this is the value which we are getting about b, this distance from here to there. So, we are now in a position to get everything with respect to, to total area what we have and we know the length. So, once we know the length and area, we will be in a position to get the total volume. Yes. So, assuming d which has been told to you, the d and small l has given the figure and taking into consideration all the aspects of seeds displaced by the flutes uh, when it is there inside the hopper, we get a, a diameter uh, sorry a volume which is v 1 dash pi 4 this here. Now, it is nothing but pi d square by 4 into L, this is the volume which we are uh, we are shown we have shown here over here. Then the volume of seed fed directly by the roll can be expressed as now what how much is the one which is fed by the roll. Now, we we were, so far, we were talking about how much is there inside the uh, roll, flute, fluted roll, and then how much is being delivered because this has a meaning. It fully may not be delivered because this is continuously moving. So, what do we get is we find that this v dash, v dash 1, which is nothing but pi d square by 4 into L, and taking into consideration both the diameters, the inner diameter and the outer diameter, we actually get this. So, what we get is alpha here v 1 dash v 1 is nothing but v 1 dash minus alpha times v 1 dash because we feel that this is the angle alpha this is the angle alpha this angle considers from here to there this is the angle alpha this angle alpha here. So, alpha times v 1 dash here. So, v 1 is v 1 dash minus alpha times that means 1 minus alpha into this where now, if we want to find out the value of v 1 dash because this is v 1 dash here and v 1 dash we have already found out. So, if we find out v 1 then this will nothing but 1 minus alpha here times v 1 dash which is given over here. Now, this talks of the volume of v 2 of the seeds fed in the layer of thickness s the small layer of thickness s which we had we had shown over here. So, in this uh, layer this is the thickness which has been shown in this layer s. So, what is the total volume then diameter d plus s definitely. So, diameter d plus s here into pi d then now this is l l is the total length and s here will talk of the um, thickness of that. So, thickness of the layer which we had discussed earlier s to s. So, what we are getting is total uh, length into thickness and then the um, uh, diameter. So, we will get this as the volume V 2 volume V 2. Therefore, the total volume of seeds shown by one turn of the roll is V 0 which is nothing but V 1 plus V 2 and then we have got V 1 over here and we have got V 2 over here. So, once we add these we are getting the total volume of seeds shown by one turn of the roll. So, we are now in a position to see how much is shown by one turn of the roll fluted roll here and this is the total volume.
well since the actual volume of seeds removed is always somewhat lower than the theoretical wave yes this is another thing which I, we have, I have been talking uh, right from the beginning of the design here that we feel that the fluted rolls will be properly filled up up to the brim uh, when the, and they are emptying the whole thing it will be complete but those things do not happen we have seen that there is a small hump amount of seed which will be there it is also possible that the total volume may not be emptied uh, into the uh, seed tube so that is why there is a feeling that the that seed removed is always somewhat lower than the theoretical value we think theoretically this is the value but it will be slightly lower yeah let us say how much is lower a figure um, lambda so this is the coefficient of material feed reduction yes there is an assumption here and there is quite likely this assumption because on the basis of what experience we have seen in the field or you might have also seen you will see when go to the laboratory classes or when you take a seed uh, seeding uh, tube and uh, or a seeding equipment and go to the field you will find and if you uh, make a transparent um, system by which you can see from outside you will see what happens. So, that is why we say that actually it does not fall that much. So, we are making an assumption. Now, these are engineers way of looking at things because as an engineer you would like to be as realistic as possible about the design. So, therefore, we think that a slight reduction of the order which is varying from 60 to 80 percent or 0 0.6 to 0.8 and therefore, this uh, lambda enters into picture about for the total volume of seeds fed during one turn of the ground wheel per furrow opener of the drill. Now, this comes into picture then because we had talked of that the, there will be a slight reduction. So, this lambda now comes here. So, this lambda has come we have already said and n s is the number of revolutions of the fuel per one turn of the ground wheel because there is a ratio between the ground wheel and the, the metering shaft. So, this ratio depending on this ratio we will have a number of revolutions. So, this revolutions also comes into picture and accordingly then the volume of seed which comes is V dash R z and if you want to convert this to uh, per hectare the total volume so per hectare is nothing but this here which is the volume of seed fed during one turn of this in meter cube then the number of furrow openers because this per furrow opener. So, the number of furrow openers will give this much and then area shown by the seed will meter square. So, if you take this you will find that this comes into hectare because we have a uh, dimension here 10,000. So, 1 hectare is nothing but 10 to the power 4 and that is how then the total volume shown per this is this is the value. So, ultimately then we are now in a position to find out or while designing a seed metering in a mechanism particularly in this case of a fluted roll we have designed and we have far taken all considerations as to what should be the value. Uh, how much is possibility of filling up the flutes, how much is the possibility that it may not fill up or how much is the possibility that all will be not emptied or a full will be employed, uh, em, emptied. This we need to look into actually and that is what we have considered as an engineer. Now, we, we will uh, think of this at a later stage may be a problem when we take up a problem we can discuss more and more and try to understand this. Thank you.